is up everyone. Thank you for joining me for my very first YouTube video. If you like the information that I put out or you want to see more from me, then just click that subscribe button and that bell so you can get notifications. I'll also put my Instagram handle down below. Wow, it is really throwing me off that I have to stare at the camera. Like, I just want to keep looking at myself to make sure I'm doing everything right, but I have to look at the camera. Totally throwing me off. So before I start this video about how to get your toddler to eat healthy, even when he doesn't want to, I just wanted to do a few disclaimers. Number one, I am not a doctor, I am not a nurse, I am not a dietitian. I am a certified health coach from Health Coach Institute, so I know a little bit about eating healthy and healthy habits, but I cannot prescribe you anything. If you want nutrition information um, like that, you need to talk to a doctor. And the second thing is, obviously all babies eat different foods at different stages of life. So this is the kind of food that my toddler, my baby at 14 months is eating. If your baby is a different age, he might be eating different things or might not be able to eat this stuff yet. So definitely talk to a doctor before eating or feeding him anything that you're unsure whether or not he can have. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a few different things that I like to give my baby Liam so that he is eating healthy even when sometimes he doesn't want to and he thinks he isn't eating healthy, but he is. We all know that sometimes babies can be picky. Liam, for example, would eat blueberries his entire life if he could, that's all he'd eat. And he's a pretty good eater overall, but he's definitely had times where he just doesn't want to eat his vegetables and stuff. And I've had to get creative in making sure he's eating good food that's healthy for him. So he's having a balanced diet because I know sometimes it can be easy to just be like, give them whatever they want as long as they're eating, which is true. But I want to make sure that he is getting a balanced diet all the way around, getting his fibers, getting his macros and micros and all of that good stuff. So here are some of my favorite tips. Okay, so this might be a kind of obvious tip, but... I actually didn't even think about it until recently, so I thought I'd bring it up. I have some spices here, and this is just a reminder that baby food does not have to be bland. We do want to stay away from salt as much as possible, but, you know, sprinkling a little bit of cinnamon on some stuff, or cumin is actually one that he loves, can really spice something up. If I put it on his vegetables, or I might make him spaghetti squash with a little bit of butter or something, he'll immediately like it a lot more than if he just had it plain and wasn't really feeling it. So definitely try spices on pretty much anything if your baby isn't wanting to eat it to see if that will make them want to eat it more. Okay, this is one of my favorite tips. I'm gonna try to show it to you up close. Uh, it's called Coconut Aminos. If you've never heard of it, it's kind of a soy sauce substitute. It actually has no soy in it, it's soy free, but it tastes a lot like soy sauce. Soy sauce isn't really that great for us. It has a lot of additives and sometimes sugar and stuff. So this is an awesome substitute. I use it for me and my family all the time, but it's awesome for a baby too, because the only thing in it is coconut tree sap, which might sound weird, but it's really good and mineral sea salt. So it has a little bit of salt. So I try not to use too much of it. Cause again, I'm trying to limit Liam's salt, but this is really good for vegetables. Um, if he's not feeling his broccoli or, or whatever vegetable I might be giving him, I'll pour a little bit of this on it and he loves it. So I love adding this. It's kind of the idea of putting salad dressing on vegetables, except a lot of salad dressings have sugar in them and additives that I'm not a fan of. So I love that this has just two simple ingredients. It tastes really good. I'll put the link um, below this video. I got this on Amazon, but you can get it on lots of health food stores as well. Okay, now I'm holding pesto, and this one might be another kind of obvious one, but this is just a reminder to use sauces. Again, vegetables are the one that I go to because I think that's harder for kids to eat. Um, I keep using broccoli as an example. I'm trying to think of other things that Liam, Liam kind of eats pretty well, so he likes a lot of vegetables, but um, maybe mushed up carrots or something he might not be a fan of sometimes. If I mix vegetables, or other things, again, spaghetti squash, stuff like that, with a little bit of sauce, pesto for example, or maybe tomato sauce, it immediately makes him want to eat it more because it's added that extra flavor, just made it a little more interesting. So this is just another reminder to try mixing and matching things, adding different flavors to stuff that they don't want before just assuming that they're just not gonna eat it and it's gonna be kind of a bummer. Okay, now I have chia seeds. A lot of babies sometimes have problems with their bowels and they might get constipated, especially if they're not eating really high fiber foods, which can be hard to get babies to eat sometimes. Um, Liam loves banana, which is one of his main sweeteners since I try not to use refined sugar, but it also can be very constipating. So I love to pair his bananas with chia seeds whenever he's eating them because these are chock full of fiber and other nutrients and they're just really good for you and they're tasteless. So it's an easy thing to add in. I love to add chia seeds to his yogurt 
s'mores, oatmeal. I can really add it to anything. I mean, I could add it to pasta if I wanted, which I don't know, probably sounds weird, but he's not gonna know or care. Um, I could add it to spaghetti squash. Wow, I keep using spaghetti squash as an example. I use spaghetti squash a lot. That's probably why I'm using it. This is just really good to keep him regular, to help get him the fiber that he needs. Um, flaxseed is also really good. It's about the same, except that I feel like it has more of a taste. So I love to use the chia seeds instead. Okay, now I have mangosteen fruit powder. You guys can see that. I don't know if you can. So this, I will also put a link below. I got this from Amazon as well. This is organic nutrient dense, non-GMO certified mangosteen powder. If you haven't heard of mangosteen, it is an amazing fruit. It is chock full of nutrients and antioxidants and all kinds of good things for you. And the thing that I love about it is, in my opinion, the powder is tasteless. So it's very easy to add in with things um, like the chia seeds. So yogurt, oatmeal, soup, if you want. Again, that sounds kind of weird, but your baby's not gonna know the difference. So this is a really healthy, good thing to just put in with some of your baby's foods to add some nutrients and get him to be eating healthy. And he's not gonna know the difference because he's not gonna taste it. Okay, next I have probiotics. You guys can see that. So I'll also link this one down below. Also got it from Amazon. Most of these things you can get from the health food store though. So it's really important for adults and babies to be getting lots of probiotics. It's important for the digestive system, but it can be really hard to eat probiotic rich foods. A lot of probiotic rich foods are things like plain yogurt, which Liam does eat, so that's awesome, but it could be homemade pickles, it could be sauerkraut, it could be kefir, stuff like that, that maybe isn't that easy for babies to eat. Honestly, a lot of times it isn't easy for me to eat. So I try to make sure that Liam has a really good probiotic. I love this one. It's Love Bugs Probiotics. They have different ones um, depending on their age. So this is the 12 to four years because they need different probiotics depending on their age. And this is also a powder, kind of like the mangosteen that I just pour in stuff. And you can pour it into any liquid, really, into milk if you wanted to, into soup, um, into his other foods that it, your baby eats. And they won't taste it, they won't know. It's really great to give them their daily dose of probiotics to keep their digestive system healthy and happy and to help build up a healthy flora. Okay, here I have a banana. So this is gonna be, Probably really obvious, but I just wanted to touch on it. And that is, we all know that sugar is not good for us. I like a good dessert as much as the next person, but I try not to have it day to day. And I really try not to give Liam sugar day to day because it's not good for us. And it's important for me to build up a good immune system for him and to help get him used to not eating a ton of sugar, which I think really makes babies particularly not as picky. So he rarely has, actually he's never had refined sugar, which is kind of fun. I um, do use honey and maple syrup as he's gotten older a little bit for a sweetener, but I try to use just fruit as a sweetener. And the really cool thing is fruit is his dessert. It's all he knows. He loves it. And at least when he's getting his dessert, I don't know why I did quotes. I mean, it technically is a dessert. So when he's getting his dessert, he's being sort of healthy. So I use bananas and blueberries a lot to sweeten things, sometimes peaches, other things like that. And I put it in, I'm going to use my main examples again, but in his yogurt and his oatmeal a lot. In fact, I mix a lot of these things into his daily yogurt and his oatmeal. I like to use plain yogurt because normal flavored yogurt has so much sugar. So I try to stay away from that and I use plain yogurt for him. I'll sweeten it with bananas or blueberries. I'll stick his chia seeds in there. I'll stick mango seed powder. I'll put his daily probiotic in there. Um, what else do I use? Looking at my stuff. Sometimes I'll use spices like cinnamon, mix it all up. He loves it. I do that either with his oatmeal or his yogurt. I kind of switch off. He loves them. So it's just kind of a quick reminder to try to get your baby to use fruit as a sweetener before using sugar so you can kind of get them away from using sugar as much as possible. Okay, so this is my last tip. This is not a food, but it involves food. So I got these off Amazon. They came in a 12 pack. I'll also link this below. And these are little pouches and they have the top that twists off and then the baby can and then you have this that opens and then you pour the food in here and then 
zip it up. And then it's reusable, you can wash it, you can use it as much as you want. So they sell pouches of food at the stores, but firstly, I just like making it because I feel better about the ingredients. Secondly, these are reusable. Those pouches at the store are expensive and are gonna end up costing you a lot. So I bought the 12 pack of these, I think it was like 10 or $12, and I make lamb smoothies, or even I've made him vegetable soup and put it in here. This is like my go-to snack when we're on the go. So I'll bring one of these if it's a short trip, because obviously they usually need to stay cold. I'll bring one of these and give it to him as a snack. It's easy to make sure he's being healthy, that he's getting his stuff. If I make smoothies, a lot of times I'll put the mangosteen, the chia seeds and stuff like that in there, his probiotics so that he's getting that daily dose of stuff. And then I just bring these little guys with me and he's got a healthy and quick snack on the go. And I think on the go can be one of the harder times to try to be healthy for both adults and babies. And that's why I like finding these little tips and tricks like this to help us stay healthy on the go. Whew, I feel like I'm talking really fast. I need to work on that. So hopefully that was helpful. I just want to share a few of my favorite tricks to get toddlers and babies to eat healthy. I know that it can be hard and I also know it's really important. So hopefully some of these tricks will help you out, try them out, even if one of them helps you, hopefully that'll be a big win. I love that a couple of the things I shared are tasteless, so your baby isn't even gonna know they're having them, and therefore it's gonna be really easy to get them to eat healthy. Okay, there it is, first YouTube video, check. So thanks for joining me. I'm really excited to share some more videos in the future about mom life and other things like that. I hope this was helpful and thanks for joining me.